Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Three news stories. Firstly, Pana TV, Ethiopian state television today reported about the fight between Eritreans in Tel Aviv, Israel. Ethiopia is hosting Brigade Army the members. So, what did Fana TV report about the incident in, Adis, in, in Tel Aviv? What happened? Was it fight uh, between supporters of Eritrean government and opponents, or a different version of the story was shared? Because the Eritrean government-backed uh, outlets say that uh, uh, anti-Eritrean, non-Eritrean elements attack Eritreans uh, in diaspora. So, what is Ethiopian government reporting? What happened in Tel Aviv? Secondly. More recruitments by Gondorfano. Gondorfano has launched a recruitment campaign reportedly. Hapte uh, Valde was seen a few hours ago with new recruits. And lastly, Biro travel decreasing in Ethiopia. It's becoming risky, it's becoming unsafe. Ethiopian Transport Association chief spoke about that, uh, showing concern about the number of by road travelers firstly viewers uh, in israel you know that Eritreans clashed two deaths in israel so far by the way one was stabbed to death uh, i think it was 7th of may he was from opposition group then another Eritrean was killed in clashes uh, two days ago I think it was uh, Monday, if I'm not wrong, uh, when the clash erupted there in Tel Aviv, Israel. It was linked to earlier incident in which uh, a man from opposition group was stabbed to death in Tel Aviv. Uh, I did uh, an I did a video on that. I wrote an article too on newsaddis.com. You can read the complete article there, newsaddis.com. You can write in such bar. Ethiopian state media reported today about this clash between Eritrean groups in Tel Aviv. So, what did Fana TV say? Because Eritrean government backed News outlets, activists say that Brigade Nehamud is a non erotian phenomenon. It's backed by hostile intelligence agencies and it isn't a clash between Eritrean opposition and pro government groups. So, what is happening in Europe, in North America, Canada, it's not an intra erotian community uh, thing. Rather, it's an attack on Eritrean community by non Eritrean elements. This is what Eritrean government, government backed activists, news outlets report. What did Fana TV report? Well, for, according to Fana TV, the clash in Tel Aviv, Israel was between the supporters of Eritrean government and opponents of Eritrean government. So, uh, Ethiopian government is saying that Brigade Nehamedo are Eritreans and they are opponents. They oppose Eritrean government. Obviously, this position is in contrast to Eritrean government's position. Brigade Nehamedo people are being mobilized. They are being uh, organized in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa. Two uh, conventions so far in Addis Ababa, Kiros Asfa was here. Uh, and uh, uh, while speaking in Addis Ababa, these Eritreans said, Brigade Nehamedo members, that they are in Brigade Nehamedo, they are in Addis Ababa, then they will meet in Makale, then in Zalambasa, and then in Asmara. Too. They said that it is the time to bring about a change in Eritrea. Ethiopia is becoming active now. We are seeing that Ethiopia is provoking Eritrea. I said that in last night's live chat too that Ethiopia is provoking Eritrea. We'll uh, explain that more in today's live chat. Ethiopian state media uh, never reported in the past about Brigade Harm and those activities. Just one report, I think, if I remember in the past by Ethiopian state media. Now, Ethiopian state media is reporting about the Brigade Harm and those activities. It is hosting Brigade Harm and the organizing there in Addis Ababa. I say, uh, as I said earlier, 
Ethiopia error realization set to deteriorate in coming months. Secondly, viewers, uh, more recruitments by FANO or groups in Amhara region, especially Gondar FANO. Uh, we're seeing that South Gondar, North Gondar FANO uh, groups have activated themselves. They are back in action. They have been dormant lately. Maybe they were waiting for something to happen in Volkayat and now they fear that Volkayat could be given back to Tegaraya by the federal government. So they are conducting recruitments reportedly. Uh, hundreds are being recruited. People are being told that this is the time to fight. This is the time to organize because if uh, there is no organization, Volkayat will be under Tegaraya control. That is why we are seeing now recruitments by Gondar Fano. North Gondar Fano. South Gondar was already recruiting. North Gondar has joined. Uh, and uh, today we saw pictures of uh, North Gondar Fano commander Major Hapte. All they were seen with new recruits. This recruitment reportedly ongoing in different parts of Gondar, North Gondar. Uh, obviously, it is linked to the likely developments in Volkai, Tomera, Sagade, uh, Salem. Lastly, viewers, Ethiopian Transport Association says that by road travel is declining. Number of uh, by road travelers is decreasing. Why? Because by road travel is not seen as safe now. Vehicles are stopped. People are kidnapped. Kidnapping for ransom is rampant in Amhara, in Romeo. A ransom is demanded and sometimes people are looted, just uh, vehicles are stopped and armed um, gangs uh, raw people of their belongings. It's happening in Amhara, in Oromo. That is why, uh, according to Ethiopian Transport Association, by road travel is on the decline. On the other hand, by air travel on the rise, 43% uh, rise in domestic passenger number for Ethiopian airlines. Mesfin Atasio, the Ethiopian Alliance chief, last week announced that uh, domestic passengers' number uh, had been uh, rising. Maybe that is why Ethiopia has built a new terminal for domestic flights. Ethiopian Alliance has built a new terminal. Uh, people who can afford, obviously, they can fly by uh, to reach uh, Addis Ababa from Amhara, etc. But what about those who don't afford? What will they do? I mean, uh, they have to travel and roads are not safe. What is the responsibility of the government? If it cannot make roads safe, what else would it do? This is the basic responsibility of a government that people should be safe to travel. But you know that in Gojam, a, a week-long uh, suspension of traffic, ban on movement of vehicle was announced. It was implemented before that in Romia twice. Ola announced a ban, a strike on vehicle movement. Again, it was implemented. The roads are closed by military too. In Shoa, you saw that military closed the road and it remained closed for several weeks for an operation against Fano fighters. Nothing was achieved, I believe, in Shoa. Fano still there in Shoa. Road remained closed for around a week. Then Fano fighters carry out attacks on main roads to ambush attacks. When the attack happens, obviously the traffic is suspended. It remains suspended for hours. And then they are cutting off uh, uh, links uh, between main roads regarding the uh, supply lines for the Ethiopian military. They carry out attacks on the convoy of the military. So all that is leading to real problems for common man. Common man who wants to travel in Amhara, in Romania, he's in danger. He can be robbed, he can be killed, he can be kidnapped, transfer to be demanded. So that is why by road travel uh, is declining in Ethiopia, according to Ethiopian Transport Association. Thank you for watching.